Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing the anatomy of a prescription. So you think that when your doctor writes you a prescription, seems pretty simple, right? Well, look at this. There's like seven parts to that prescription, and we're going to go through them right now. Okay, so first off, you have to have the name of the medication. Okay, then, completely separate from that, you have to have the dose. Now that's super important as you can imagine because not all medications come in all doses. Does it come in 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, 40 milligrams? Guess what? Not all doctors have that all memorized. So they either have to look it up or they've got to guess and they might get it wrong. Okay, next up, is the number that are taken at a time? Okay, fine, it's a 20 milligram tab. Do you take one tab? Do you take two tabs? How many tabs do you take? That needs to be specified. Next is the route. How are you supposed to take this? Well, of course, the vast majority of the time, you take it by mouth. The abbreviation by mouth is PO for per oral, right? But if you're using a cream, then obviously you're not going to eat the cream, so you have to actually specify how the medication is supposed to be taken. Next is the frequency. Okay, great. Do you take one tab or two tabs? Okay. Do you take it at morning, at night, or just once a day? How many times do you take it? So that needs to be uh, listed as well. Okay. Next is the number of dispense. Okay. How many pills are they going to give you in the bottle? Typically, they'll give you a one month supply. So if you're taking a pill twice a day, they need to dispense you 60 pills in order to get that one month supply. Next up is the number of refills. Okay, great. After that month, I'd love to be able just to call or contact my pharmacy and get another month's supply. Can I get any refills? Well, the physician has to specify that. Then there's also a box on the prescription that says, do not substitute. In other words, if they write the brand name for the prescription, if they check do not substitute and a generic exists, then the pharmacist is not allowed to switch it to the generic. Okay, now let's look at specifically how this looks on an actual prescription pad. Now keep in mind, I did not even say things like your name, your date of birth, and today's date. Right, so those have to be on there as well. Okay, next up, here's a specific example. So low pressure, it's a blood pressure medication. The generic name is metoprolol. It's been generic for a very long time. Low pressure, 20 milligrams. Those are typically written on the same line. Next line, SIG, which is how you're supposed to take it. Take one, now the way that numbers are written on a prescription pad is different, right? This is the number one. It's a dot and a line and then another line. Okay, so just know that the numbers are written on a prescription pad differently. One tab, PO, which means by mouth, BID means twice a day. So the most common abbreviations are BID for twice a day and then Q day or Q daily uh, for once a day. Okay, next up, dispense 60, right? If it's a one month supply, notice that it's the number plus you have to write out the word 60. That's important. Next up, the number of refills, zero. Okay, next up you have the do not substitute box. Okay, so that's what it would actually look like on the prescription. Why am I telling you all this? Because there could be a mistake. It could, look at all the opportunity for error here, right? And in fact, I'll list the link in the show notes, but they found of handwritten prescriptions, 21% of them, one in five, contain an error. And even if the physician totally writes it correctly, right, there is a 1.7 to 24% rate of a dispensing error at the pharmacy. And it is estimated that between the handwriting errors and the dispensing errors, that 1.5 to 4% of those errors are serious. Holy moly. Well, listen, you as a patient, you don't need to have all this stuff memorized, but here's the point. It's very important for you to know at the doctor's office the basic stuff around, okay, what's the name of the medication? What's the dose? How many times do I take it? The physician may or may not have time to explain that to you. Ask the nurse. You've got to know that. Why do you have to know that? Because what they tell you at the doctor's office, you're going to want to verify that with the bottle and the label on the bottle of the pills, right? So if you, they're oftentimes going to say, well, I'm just going to write your prescription. And then when you get the bottle, you don't know if it's right or not because you never asked them up front. So ask them up front, what is it going to be? And then when you get the, and oftentimes you can't even read their handwriting, right? So if you just say, oh, I'm just going to look at the prescription pad, that's not good. You've got to talk to them and ask them specifically what it's going to be. Maybe you take notes and write it down. And then when you get the bottle, you have to compare the two. And just know that if you don't, you're rolling the dice on a mistake. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.